Hello and welcome. Welcome to another episode of Getting to Know Your Weapon in Monster Hunter World. My name is Ice Spikes and today's weapon of choice is the Switch Axe. This is a combination weapon which has two modes. One is a Switch Axe, axe and the other forms. one being axe sword. sword. As for the Axe mode, the standard attacks, you have the standard combo, energy. which is side slash to rising slash to overhead slash. If you're walking forward and press triangle, you get the axe forward slash instead. Pressing the circle button will give you the axe while swing. This move will keep swinging for as long as you keep pressing the button and as long as you have stamina because it consumes stamina. Pressing R2 will give you the morph sweep, which will change your axe into sword mode. In sword mode, you have your standard combo, overhead slash, to right rising slash to left rising slash into overhead slash once again. The heavier combo done with circle goes from the double slash into the heaven's war fury. As for the meter on this weapon, it will show you when sword and axe modes are available to use. It also fills up while you're using the axe mode and it drains while your switch axe is in sword mode. In the screen you will see multiple combos so you can see how easy and versatile is this weapon. You can combine multiple strings into each other with ease and it's very fancy and very uh, easy to use. Pressing R2 outside of the attack on any of the modes will switch between modes as long as you have enough file energy available for your sword mode. If not enough energy is available to use the sword mode it will reload your file energy for a small amount. This weapon is a little bit or a lot of a spectacle. It likes to show off and show off big. As additional attacks, this weapon uses it's file energy for elemental discharge. Elemental discharge are only available while on sword mode and it's done by pressing triangle and circle at the same time. In some monsters that elemental discharge will act like a command grab. Your hunter will kinda sort of mount the creature to inflict more damage and work on that part to cut it off. As for your sliding attacks, you can do a jumping sweep on axe form or you can use R2 to do jumping right and slash into jumping slash. As for the wall jumps, you also have two options. You can do triangle for a jumping slash, or you can use the morph button R2 to perform a sword mode jumping slash. This is all that I know about this weapon right now. As always, uh, leave a like if you if it helps. Uh, I'm just learning this uh, weapon as I go, and I would like to learn with you. If you would have any comments, have, uh, feel free to leave it in the comment section or below. Feel free to include anything I might have forgotten about this weapon. Uh, again, I'm just learning. It's a cool weapon. Just enjoy it and keep hunting. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.